Well, it's about to cotch it, Eto has slayed some big names this week, including the top seed. And this is new territory for Yulia Putin Saber. <laughs> no chance there. That was just so well struck and just stayed so low. A yeah, remarkable point. Oh, magnificent. And it's a breaker, sir. Well, both players throughout that point should have won it. And that just about sums it up for Cochinetto. It has been tough, tough going. Too good. 15, and it's very good from Putin Saver. Oh, again, Cochinetta giving it all that she could there, defending, yes. hoping for a mistake from Putin Saver, but it wasn't coming. That's oh, just so good. Awkward as well, that from Cochinetta. Put and save. I had to watch this carefully. It was just dipping. Game. Well, it's a first Game. glass court Game. final for Yulia Put and Saver, and arguably two, her six, best two, showing nine. of the week here in Birmingham. Six two. Six two. Bar a little blip at the start and at the end, she was unplayable against Elisabetta Cocciadetto. Well, Yulia, Elisabetta is a really tricky opponent, but you made it look straightforward out there today. Uh, yeah, it was a very, very good game. Uh, I stayed very low because I knew that she's going to play fast, so I had to play even faster, not to give her like any chance to open the court with me, and I think I did it pretty well today. What are you most happy with about not just only your tennis, but also your mentality this week and also for what has been an amazing 2024 season for you? I mean, as we said, like after the story in Madrid, I just let it go completely everything. I was like uh, laughing and uh, I mean, this is was a tough situation for me because I lost like everything, all my documents, everything. And I was like, okay, nothing else to lose. Like, uh, why don't we start playing uh, more freely, you know, <laughs> and uh, no, honestly, I was, um, I just let it go, everything, and I start to to play well at some point, and um, yeah, just keep on going. No, you're not finished yet. You're our first player through to the final. Now, I have noticed this week one of your superstitions. You like to always take the balls from the ball kid that's in the left corner when you're serving. When did that start, and do you have any other weird superstitions. You think it's weird? <laughs> I've, I've, heard, I've heard more weird on the tennis floor, I'm not going to lie. Uh, well, yeah, I, I've been doing this, honestly, I think for a long time. I cannot even remember where it's, when it started, but you know, those things just to it's keep on, on the focus, you know, like the bottles, I'm doing the bottles as well. Like Rafa lining them up? Not lining, but I'm like turning them one side, and if it doesn't go well, I'm turning them the other side. 
<laughs> yeah, no, well, I have like couple, not like, I think with the age I got better because with before it was like so bad. Like I think I would eat every single day the same thing from the morning until the evening. <laughs> Wasn't helping though, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but so many weird stuff, yeah, as you said.